What's up guys? So uh, I'm sitting here in a hot tub prepping for heart disease, making sure that cardiovascular disease stays far, far away and uh, learn that good language to get out of a shithole country. So uh, some preppers, man, they haven't been doing the right prepping. So two of them threw in the towel recently, right? So there was one guy, basically, Hurricane Ian was coming his way, and he's like, basically, yeah, you know, no mas, you know, too scary, you know, putting a pas no yes on me, you know, fuck out of here, get me out of here, dude, it's too crazy, even the thought of it is too crazy, I gotta get out of here and get in the safety zone, you know. Uh, it was beyond the safety issue. He tried to pretend it was due to safety. Way more about just luxury inconveniences, right? Didn't want to be without power because he's not heat acclimated, you know? He didn't spend enough time in the saunas and the hot tubs. All that good stuff, man. He didn't, uh, he didn't grind in the 45 degree temperatures enough. 45 degrees Celsius, that is. Um, yeah, so he totally pushed out, went to another state, and uh, but he was a big shit talker. He used to say stuff like, um, what was it like, you know, you know, it's all your fault if you're not prepared, you got to be prepared for anything, and the things get real, a hurricane, dude, and he runs away. He runs away from a fucking hurricane. I thought this guy had everything you need to survive. Now, there was a dude out there, um, he was in the way of the hurricane. And he stayed, and he's okay. He got some property damage, but he's cool. He's okay, man. He's getting by from everything I do know. I think he was out. He might have been in Sanibel Island where the causeway got cut off, but that, that bridge is back up, and everything seems to be uh, moving forward. They're going to get those people power up soon. A lot of power crews were crossing that bridge the last video I saw. Anyways, another pussy prepper out there. This guy was a big shit talker, too. He said, like, come and take it. He was one of the big come and take it mouths. Um... Now he's saying that if the Chinese come over, he's going to find a new place to go. Like, he's just going to bug out. He's going to fuck out. He said, forget it, man. He's going to go off into the woods and come out with chopsticks or something. I don't know what the fuck he's going to do, but he basically said he's going to give up the homestead, the castle, you know, on his own fucking territory. He's going to run like a bitch, man. Dude, there was a fucking Ukrainian girl, cute Ukrainian girl on TV, nicely dressed, you know, most people say, oh, she's preppy and shit, right? She nearly got hit with a fucking missile, man. She has video of the flames in the background coming her way, right? And ducking her fucking head. She was on the news basically saying, yeah, it's crazy, you know, like some days you could just be going to work and then boom, you're gone, you know? And she literally laughed, you know? Like I said, dude, Slavic chicks are more mentally tough than, than uh, American YouTube preppers. I mean, I said it before. There's your proof. There's your fucking proof. These people are bitches. They're con artists. Don't be food, fooled by their stuff, man. It's the same old shit. Like, share, and subscribe. Buy my stuff. You know, uh, discount in the, in the description. 15% off on a bunch of shit you don't need. That's that's American YouTube prepping. It's carnival hustling. Carnival hustling. You know? Shit talking, carnival hustling. And then when the shit gets rough, they run away, man. Total pussies. So, um, you know, I'm sitting here in the hot tub, 44 degrees Celsius, trying to get my sweat on and, uh, you know, get that blood flowing, get that heartbeat running. Went to the park today, started getting to... You know, getting to the point where I'm going to start doing pull-ups again, stuff like that. Get back into real calisthenics. Uh, had a lot of life stresses, things throwing me off track. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to start getting efficient with my time. You know, get that healthy time in, plus some language learning. This is how you prep. This is how you really prep against the number one killer, which is heart disease. Uh, this is how you prep against a shithole country, right? Learn a language of a country that's not a shithole. Go to that country. Usually, you know, the people are pretty cool, so... I want to sit at the back. I'm not to say. So this is a language right now that I don't currently know, but it's related to another one that I do study more, so I kind of run this to see if I can pick up on it as I'm sitting here, you know, rather than to just uh, stare at the ceiling like I'm doing right now with the camera. I want to sit in the middle. Htio, htjela bih sjediti u sredini. Sjediti u something, so that means to sit in. 
I want to. Hitio means I want. Sediti means to sit. U means in. And I don't know, I didn't catch what they said. Dosada. But the book on which the film was based was better. Kniga's book. How was the music? Kakwa Bila Glasba. Glasba's music. How were the actors? Kakwisu Bili Glunzi. Kakwisu. Were there English subtitles? I think so is a mutually intelligible intelligible R. S O would mean R. Yeah. Fifty languages. Yeah. Never zoom in. Forty six. Chitiri shest. Yeah, see, I know the numbers. In the discotheque. Is the seat taken? No idea what they said. I sit with you? I need subtitles. Moguli siesti do vas. Moguli siesti? Sure. Something vas? Your? Rado. How do you like the music? Kako vam se sviđa glasba? Kako se svam sviđa glasba? A little glasba. too loud. Malo preglasna. So I think if you were to say I like something, you'd say like sviđa mi je. Ali bend svira sa svira. Kind of like what I like for me is. Do you come here often? Power off. Oh no. Well, party's over. Check you later.